Good evening. I welcome one and all in today's function where we felicitate Honorable Mr. Justice S.C. Chandak and Honorable Mr. Justice Somasekar Sundaresan on their appointment as judges of the Honorable Bombay High Court. May I request Mr. Nitin Thakkar, our president, to welcome Justice Chandak and Justice Somasekar in our midst and address our members. The Honorable Mr. The Honorable Mr. Justice Shyam Chandak, the Honorable Mr. Justice Somashekar Sundaresan, Mr. Venkatesh Don, Vice President of Bombay Bar Association, Mr. Vishal Kanade, Secretary of Bombay Bar Association, Senior Advocates, Members of the Standing Committee of Bombay Bar Association, other members of the bar, ladies and gentlemen. We have assembled today to extend a very warm welcome to the Honorable Mr. Justice Shyam Chandak and Honorable Mr. Justice Soma Shekhar Sundarshan. In the tapestry of legal field, their journey has been woven with threads of dedication, unwavering commitment, and a legacy of exemplary service. Let me speak first about Justice Chandak. Born on 10th December 1970 at Amaravati, Justice Chandak did his entire education at Amaravati starting with schooling at Manibai Gujarati High School and graduation from Srimati Keshwarbhai Lahoti Mahavidyalaya and law from Dr. Punjab Rao Deshmukh College of Law. Not only that, his lordship has also done his BA in English Literature. Justice Chandak embarked on his legal journey in 1994 after completing his LLB by enrolling as a member of Bar Council of Maharashtra and Goa on November 29, 1994. His initial steps as an assistant advocate working alongside Sri Mirza Wasim Ahmad laid the foundation for what would become a stellar career in field of law. His lordship acted as an assistant public prosecutor before JMFC court in Anjangao Surji, District Amravati, starting from February 25th, 2002 to May 2, 2008, demonstrating an unwavering commitment to upholding the law. His desire to serve the society brought his lordship to a different direction, moving from bar to bench when his lordship was appointed as a district judge on May 2, 2008. Subsequently, he presided over the Bombay City Civil and Sessions Court and served as a district judge and additional sessions judge at Nagpur and Majalgaon. Justice Chandak's illustrious career also includes his role as Registrar at the High Court of Bombay and Go at Goa and Member Secretary of the Goa State Legal Services Authority at Panaji, Goa. His judicial expertise extended to Principal District and Session Judge at Dhule and Registrar Personnel at High Court Appellate Site, Bombay and as Prothonotary and Senior Master, High Court Original Site, Bombay. He has presided over various tribunals, including as a Chairman of Motor Accidents Claim Tribunal and presiding officer of the State Transport Appellate Tribunal in Mumbai. His journey continued with the role of Principal District and Session Judge at Kolapu, showcasing his versatility. Recognizing his ability, his Lordship was appointed as a judge of our prestigious High Court on 21st October 2023. As we welcome Justice Chandak, let us acknowledge and honor his tireless efforts in upholding the rule of law and principles of justice. His wealth of experience and unwavering dedication to the service of law <laughs> makes him a true role model and great inspiration to all of us. On behalf of Bombay Bar Association and myself, I congratulate your Lordship and wish you a very successful tenure. I assure your Lordship of utmost cooperation from the members of our bar. May I request Mr. Chandrakan Chavan to present his Lordship a plant as a token of our respect and appreciation as well as a memento.
Justice Som Shekhar Sundarsen was born on 23rd December 1972. His Lordship graduated in law in 1996 from Government Law College, Mumbai. He joined Times of India as an assistant editor in the business editorial section while as a law student and had continued to work there for two and a half years after graduation. With his experience in journalism, he moved on to practice law and he joined Mr. Burgess Desai, who was then a founding partner of Udwadia, Udeshi and Burgess, and he worked there as a partner and then moved on to J. Sagar and Associates as his firm merged with J. Sagar Associates. His illustrious career, rich with accomplishment and expertise, has left an indelible mark on the legal landscape. Sworn in as an additional judge of the Bombay High Court on November 28, 2023. Justice, may I call you Som only? <laughs> because all of you, all of us know you from so many years as Som only. So may I take the liberty of calling you Justice Som? Justice Som brings with him a wealth of experience garnered over close to 25 years in the legal arena. His extensive litigation and advisory practice spanning areas such as financial sector regulation, competition law, administrative law, company law, and exchange controls showcase a versatility and a profound understanding of diverse legal domains. As a seasoned legal professional, he has appeared before various high courts, the Honorable Supreme Court, appellate tribunals, and sectoral regulators demonstrating a commendable mastery over several subjects. Justice Soam's involvement in legislative committees established by the Union Government, SEBI and Reserve Bank of India is well documented. As a key member of these committees, he has played a pivotal role in shaping the legal framework that governs various aspects of our financial system. One of Justice Soam's Notable achievement lies in his role as a draftsman of suggested legislation and policy governing crucial areas such as takeovers of listed companies, insider trading, issuance of global depository receipts, variable capital companies, regulation of valuers, corporate governance of banks, and cross-border insolvency. His expertise and foresight have been instrumental in creating a regulatory environment that fosters transparency, accountability, and fair practices in the corporate sector. Last year, the Honorable Apex Court appointed his Lordship as a part of an expert committee inter alia to make a report to provide overall assessment of the situation which led to volatile situation in the securities market in the recent past and to strengthen the statutory and or regulatory framework and to secure compliance with the existing framework for the protection of investors, which report was accepted by the Honorable Supreme Court. Justice Soam was also actively involved in the drafting of the Indian Financial Code recommended by the Financial Sector Legislative Reform Commission. This ambitious initiative aimed at consolidating and streamlining financial laws in the country, and Justice Soam's contribution has been invaluable in shaping the future of India's financial regulatory framework. In addition to this, Justice Soam has served on the advisory committee of the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India, specifically focusing on corporate insolvency resolution processes. His insights and guidance have played a crucial role in enhancing the efficiency and effectiveness of the insolvency framework, ensuring a fair and timely resolution of corporate distress. Justice Soam had a very large practice Sacrificing such a large practice to answer call of duty, he agreed to accept the High Court judgeship. After he gave consent, came a very challenging period in his life. As government did not accept the recommendation of Collegium in the first instance and returned it to the Collegium for reconsideration, the Collegium remained firm and stuck to its guns and they reiterated the recommendation. During this period, a weak-hearted person would have withdrawn consent but his Lordship did not withdraw his consent, and hence we are, as on 20th November, <laughs> he 
he is among one of our judges in our court beyond his notable roles in legislative committees justice som has been a member of the board of studies at nirma university institute of law his commitment to education extended to the government law college where his lordship taught securities regulations in a specialized post graduate diploma course for over two decades his dedication to sharing his wealth of knowledge with the next generation of legal professionals has undoubtedly contributed to the development of a cadre of well informed and ethically grounded individuals poised to make a positive impact in the legal arena however justice soms interests and talents extend beyond the legal domain it is fascinating to note that he is also an amateur mountaineer demonstrating a spirit of adventure and a determination to conquer new heights both metaphorically in the realm of law and literally in the challenging terrain of mountains as we welcome justice som sekhar to our midst we express our gratitude for his invaluable contributions to the legal field and look forward to the wisdom and guidance he will bring to the justice delivery system please join me in extending a warm welcome to a jurist of exceptional caliber justice somashekar sundarasain thank you very much may i now request our vice president mr don to present the plant and a memento as a token of our love and appreciation thank you mr thakkar may i now request justice chandak to kindly address our members good evening to one and all my brother justice somsekar of the days the respected committee members the learned senior counsels esteemed and distinguished advocate members of this bar i start with a sorry for being late and making you wait but uh, the lawyer from delhi was standing between you and me so definitely there will be a excuse right side apart just a few minutes before my journey was spoken about in few words when i was in bcom i was thinking one uh, one day i was returning from uh, a second show uh, seeing a movie with my friend i just asked him uh, who will give us any job we are just a very mediocre student doing bcom and uh, who will give us job we don't know that uh, the envelope which was sealed at that time what is lying there and to my surprise two jobs were hidden in it by the almighty four years of course were of great str- uh, struggle amravati can be compared with the knowledge of c the mumbai the quality lawyering skills are here there is no comparison there is no so nothing parallel in so far as mumbai and amravati are concerned but uh, whole credit goes to my senior mr mehza wasim ahmed who taught me the basics and whatever little depth of the law i could reach which made made me to serve up to here i really thank god for uh, sharing with me those wonderful staff people litigants and uh, of course on the top of it the, the lawyers who cooperated me wherever i served as a judge or a prosecutor if that cooperation was not there perhaps i was not here with whatever knowledge with whatever experience wherever i served 
they accept, accepted me what I was and what I am. So I hope that my service rendered so far is acknowledged, accepted and it uh, satisfied the soul of many to my sword to some extent. My opening as a district judge was from Mumbai. My start as a high court judge is from Mumbai. So the starting which I had from Mumbai reached me up to here. I hope the journey with the help of the lawyers of Mumbai I started that continues with the greatest of the cooperation with you all, by you all people, the esteemed lawyers. And uh, I end with a note written by the litigants to whom my court will serve that they are satisfied with my services and it is endorsed by the lawyers who assisted their cause. Thank you, thank you very much for uh, <laughs> extending your kind blessings today evening. I hope that it, these blessings, these best wishes will be my strength till I serve the judiciary. Thank you, thank you very much. I started with a light note, I will also end up with that. Soam Sekar, his name is parallel to the first week of the, uh, first day of the week, Soam, Somwar it means. He will always keep you busy throughout the day. My name is similar to Sham, so at the end of the day you will relax. <laughs> so, I hope. Uh, he keeps you alive throughout the week with the greatest of the work of the abilities you carry and at the end of the evening I will see that you are very peacefully sleeping <laughs> whenever you are <laughs> serving our courts. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you so much Jesse San, uh, Chandra. May I now request Jesse Somasekar Sundaresan to kindly address our members. Good evening. Uh, thank you for having me. Thank you for the rather generous, expensive introduction. It's always a pleasure to come to this uh, room and I, I'm only eight weeks an infant, but I already miss this room. Whether it's for giving a talk here or doing an online hearing from here, thanks to Wi-Fi, or just having a cup of tea, uh, this room has a lot of memories and I'm really enthralled to see so many of you here and so many familiar faces here. Uh, Mr. Tucker spoke about the rather long gestation uh, between conception and delivery in this journey. Uh, sometimes, you know, it needs even incubators and sometimes it needs a lot more support. Uh, I just had to keep my head down and keep working, so I'm, I'm glad I'm here. I just wanted to say that I, I can never forget the closing remarks of Justice Nariman in his farewell speech from the Supreme Court. He said, no one has a inherent vested right to be appointed as a judge, but every single lawyer has a duty to serve when called upon. So I just wanted to leave that thought behind, that if one can afford it, this is something that just we need to do for the rule of law and for uh, upholding the constitution. Ours is the only profession which uh, universally, uh, statutorily, is a keeper of confidence by law. So you can't put a lawyer on the box and ask him to share what his client told him. And this, even in the most dictatorial regimes, at least on paper, that would still be the law universally. And we are a uniform force for a reason. Uh, other uniform forces protect physical territories, but as a uniform force, the profession of law protects the soul of a society, a society which has chosen a constitution and we work under it. So the only thought I'd leave behind is Regardless of the seemingly arduous nature of that journey between conception of being called upon to serve and eventually, if at all, being appointed to serve, uh, it's something that each one of us should uh, withstand and uh, get on with it if circumstances permit. Uh, I just also want to say that uh, 
I'm just eight, less than eight weeks into the profession. There's much to learn, as I can see. So please uh, cut me some slack as well. If you, if you the, the, the move from the bar to the bench, uh, seemingly is very easy, but I can assure you, there's a lot to learn and a lot to do. I only promise to do my very best uh, and live up to the oaths that we took. Uh, I, I promise you that. And meanwhile, I, with all humility, request you to accept the frailties that come with human beings who are judges and uh, help me in this journey. Uh, it's deep into the evening, so uh, I wouldn't take more of the time from today's sham. Some of you may have some som rust <laughs> waiting for you. Thank you. On behalf of the association, I would like to sincerely thank Justice Chandak and Justice Somsekar Sundaresan for having accepted our invitation and for present in such large numbers. This concludes our function. Please join us for tea and snacks.